Matter of fact, I was up till 5 a.m. this morning getting to level 28. You know what? I keep forgetting too. This is this is gonna be a version update night. They're gonna shut us down at 3 3 a.m. on my my time. Okay, what do we got? Is that the only two guys I got to kill in there? No, nope, there's three. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. He's the highest level. That ain't very high. Very high at all. So I can wound them too. Ah, oh, there's a guy hiding in the doorway over there. I saw him shooting at me. Sneaky sucker hiding in that doorway. Forward battery. This is primary. I've got some fresh ballistic data for the MR3s you've got loaded down there. That's him, isn't it, sir? Former Lieutenant Bex Colas. Gearbox. Studying your personnel files, haven't you? Affirmative, sir. I thought it best to learn what I could about our targets in advance. We've been doing some testing for Project B and worked out new results for your range racks. You want to nudge those MR3s a good 0 0.053 degrees positive lateral to get clean hits on Zone 3. Anyhow, stay sharp out there, kids. Maybe once Project B's complete, we'll have you over for a little demonstration. Primary out. Project B. Does the term have any significance for you, Lieutenant? Do you know what he's talking about? No ideas here, Sergeant. Perhaps Marcus Thor would know more. We should question him further. I'll follow your lead, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, return to Captain Cormac, huh? Okay, yeah, yeah, let's see. Back out the door into the hell hole. Let's see if I can get out of here with my skin. Might as well go this way. I know that's I know those guys out here waiting for me. Oop. Stop. Oop, too late. Too late. Run these guys in here. <laughs> Jump right in the middle of them. I do it.
This will better heal. She do that. Assistance. It's too late now, girl. You're dead. She always goes after the target when I don't want her to. Now I'm stuck. That's a good idea. How about if I just go in here and die? <laughs> I get <a> quick transport. <laughs> Back to the med center. <laughs> Besides, I want to go ride one of those whale fish thingies, or whatever they call them. <laughs> Backup squads, long-range artillery installations. Did you find any trace of them? Camp Serenity, sir. Trail of bodies leading back to the mounds. <laughs> well, she stopped and started firing at them, so she would have died anyhow. You see? If I can use this. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Yeah, it tells me I have none unlocked. That's bullshit. Now I gotta fly all the way back on my own. Have a safe and pleasant stay. I'd hate when it does that too. Now I gotta take the damn trail all the way back. I just don't understand how those taxi things work. Now, yeah, for some reason, it, it does that to me a lot, too. Because I clicked on that one, the main one. So I should have had at least a ride back to, you know, the main, you know, where I first came in at by the port, the spaceport. Where is it leading me to? How come it's got two arrows here? On my mini map. And then I'd have to do a video and send it in and all that crap so they could see what's happening, but that would take too long. And I'm sure they don't want to sit here and watch one of my five hour cast. <sighs> you never know, though. They might enjoy it. <laughs> well, maybe not five hours, but. I guess I could highlight one. Oh, look out. There's a creature. Which reminds me, I wanted to kill one of those guys just to see what it was like. See if they drop anything. Need to drop anything? Sometimes. I'll help you. Better help me. I'm about ready to die here. Oh, added a new codex, whatever that is. A gnarled bone. Wow. Always wanted a gnarled bone. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> A lot 
live chat support. Oh yeah. Not likely. They'll just send you a letter back. They don't want to deal with all that stuff, you know. They don't have to. They try to make it as simple as possible. They've got enough support tickets, I'm sure, to deal with. They don't want to drag one out forever. What are those things? Like something dangerous? Must have snowed last night. Oh yeah. You never know. They they might. I'm sure they're pretty uh thorough. check and see where I'm going here. Make sure I didn't take a wrong turn. Holy cow. Oh, there we go. I hate when the map don't refresh correctly. Yeah, it's already late. I, I got to do something here pretty quick. Plus, I've already been casting for, what, six hours, at least. Oops. Where am I at here? I got a little further to go here. Let's see, is it this one? I think it's this one, yeah. But yeah, I need to shut her down myself. I've been beating myself up with this broadcast. <laughs> okay, let's go inside and say hi. And I do believe it was the first left door unless I changed it. Come on. Click on you. How come you did that? Captain Cormac, I really don't believe I can make myself much clearer than... Lieutenant, welcome back, sir. How did your mission go? You know, destroying that giant missile battery that threatened our house, sir? The battery was destroyed successfully, Captain. Well, congratulations. I'd say House Organa really owes you one for taking care of such a dangerous threat. <coughs> yes. Allow me to extend the fondest gratitude of our noble House of Organa for your heroic assistance, Lieutenant. I am Paulus Theseus Organa, first nephew to His Highness the Great Duke of Organa. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. So you're a real Organa, huh? <clears throat> yes, that is quite correct, Lieutenant. I am told that you have spent some time in the company of a prisoner detained herein. One Marcus Thule. This man is of no small consequence to our house, as you may well be aware. What is your interest in him? Unfortunately, I can't discuss the details of my mission. Surely you're joking. Lieutenant, I'm certain you would agree that my family has a right to know what transpires in our home. Marcus Thule is telling you secrets which I deeply suspect he would not...